Unlike math or science, there is an incapacity on the part of most people to acknowledge the severity of their language deficiencies. So uh, when you have a comparison like x, y, or unlike x, y, the two things need to be parallel. So unlike math or science, if we're going to go with this sentence as it's written, the thing after, the thing that we're comparing it to, needs to be another, I don't know, field or something like that, like language, basically. So the language needs to be here along with the unlike math or science. So if we start with unlike math or science, the thing immediately after, or the thing that is the focus point of, focal point of the comparison, needs to be another field. So unlike math or science, there is an incapacity. That's not parallel. Uh, B, unlike math or science, which they acknowledge are weak, that's a parenthetical thing, so we don't have to count this, many people, so unlike math or science, many people, people are not like math or science. Let's get rid of B. C says, unlike math or science, language. Okay, so there we have fields being, um, <clears throat> being compared. Unlike math or science, language brings out an incapacity in many people to acknowledge that they are deficient. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that one without laughing. Uh, the point of the original sentence, as wrong as it was grammatically, was to point out that people have language deficiencies. Sentence C has changed that, so now people are just generally deficient. They're generally just kind of sucky people or something. So uh, choice C really changes the sentence too much. That leaves us with a, a, a different sentence form, the thing that starts with many people in D and E. Let's compare the two. Uh, D, many people able to acknowledge weakness in, or weaknesses in math or science are unable to acknowledge their language deficiencies. <clears throat> so we have a parallel structure. Many people able to do X are unable to do Y. That sounds pretty good, but let's check E. Many people have an incapacity to acknowledge deficiencies in language while able to acknowledge their weaknesses in math or science. Uh, well, it's certainly not parallel. If we wanted parallelism, it would say many people have an incapacity to this while um, having the capacity to acknowledge. You know. So anyway, the two, uh, the two structures here are not uh, parallel, unlike choice D. So we can eliminate this one and click D.